In order to get the most from your BMG LabTech Omega plate reader, you will likely need to purchase new filters for new assays you wish to try. In this tutorial, we will see how filter wheels and filters are accessed so new filters can be added. With the reader off and the optic cables removed, the first step is to remove the filter wheel cover. Loosen the four thumb screws which retain the filter wheel cover. The cover then can then be set aside. Taking care not to touch the filters, hold the filter wheel in place while loosening the retaining nut. The filter wheel can now be lifted out. Using a 1.5 millimeter Allen key, Loosen the small screw on the edge of the filter wheel that holds the filter in position. Being careful to handle the filter only by its edges, remove the filter from the filter wheel. If you look at the black ring that is around your filter, you will notice that the type of filter is indicated. In the cartoon example, it is a filter with a peak transmission wavelength of 450 nanometers. There is also an arrow on the filter. This needs to point out if the filter is in the excitation wheel and in if the filter is in the emission wheel. There are eight positions in each filter wheel and it is vital that the filter table in the software is updated with the correct information. When replacing the filter wheel, you will notice that there is a small positioning pin next to the axle. This pin will fit into the, in one of the holes on the back of the filter wheel. With the filter wheel securely in place, tighten the retaining nut. If everything is in place correctly, the filter wheel will spin freely. For further information, please consult your manual. A PDF copy of this manual can be found on the software installation CD which you received with your instrument. If you require further help, please contact BMG Technical Support.